I keep this on here. Even though it's not running, somebody could still steal it. So we don't want nobody trying to put it on the trailer and take it home with them without paying for it. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay for this box shit. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Car Reviews by KJ, and we back with another video, man. Let's hop into it. I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm selling the box Chevy today. Let's get into it, man. All right, so this is my box Chevy right here. I've been trying to sell it for about a couple weeks, maybe a month now. I got all the books and stuff like that. This is the type of engine that's in the car right now, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. We're gonna start, where y'all wanna start? Front of the back, front of the back. Since you're already watching, we'll start in the back. Since y'all can't really choose right now, y'all ain't got no choice, so I walk y'all through it. I walk y'all through it, don't worry. Grab them keys. Got the key right here. Still got the label on there. You already know. All right, so this is the trunk. As you can see, I got the actual box Chevy book, and I got the book that the type of engine it got. I got the heater core right there. I got the AC brackets and everything because I took the AC off. So I took that compressor off, took it back to the stove since everybody trying to lowball. So I got some money back. But these are the brackets and screws you need. The heater core right there. As you can see in the trunk, no rust. That's not rust. That's actually this from the fabric that was on there. Cause it had, you know, it had a soft top on it. But this all the trimmings and stuff like that from the from the soft top and all around the uh, the windshield and you know the rear glass and all of that. I got AC lines, brand new AC lines. So if you want to get AC put in it, you can. Got some Memphis speakers in there. So some Memphis six by nines, it's already wired for sound. I already taped all of them off and unhooked them. So all you gotta do is pretty much plug it onto the battery and then you already got sound. You just hook up your RCAs, which are already ran and you in the game. I'm telling y'all man, solid car. I can't really get underneath, but you can see the gas can. I got a brand new fuel sending unit in there. So like most of them, the gas hand don't work, but the gas hand work on this one. You ain't gotta worry about that. I'll show you a little bit more about the gas hand because it doesn't work like, it doesn't go all the way to full, it doesn't go, you know. I'll show you how it works, I'll show you how it works. But yeah, so everything in there, you can see no holes in it. Everything's solid. I just wanna make sure I get a good walk around because I got a lot of people asking me about it, but nobody really coming to see it. So I'ma send them this video. So you got all the instructions, the bill sheet, so you, if you want to look up the bill sheet, pause that right there, and you can look it up. Make sure I got the keys before we lock it in there. But yeah, that book has been a tremendous help though. So when I've been, uh, when I was working on the car, it showed me how to do the fuel sending unit and all that. All right, let's start in the back. Like I said, we'll go with the rear tires, the 275s on the back. Cooper Cobra, brand new tires, man. Brand new tires, rally wheels. I got the. I got the center caps in the house, so those come with it too. Underneath, we got the uh, the frame. No rust on the frame, we just need the spray paint. You know, metal gonna turn into its natural state, which is rust, but this one is not rotted, if you know what I'm saying. It's just got some oxidation on there. I'm not a scientist or nothing, but I know what rust look like, all right? So yeah, you see I got all the trimmings and stuff like that along. You know, most of them missing, missing those. Got those, got all the, the silver that go along the bottom and at the front. So yeah, got the 275s back there. Underneath, we got the Flowmaster 40 series right here. Got a little cigarette hole, but who gonna be looking over here? The seat not all the way in. It just needs to be clipped in, but I pulled it out and I, I did a, a deep shampoo on it. I need to, ooh, every time I shoot a video, I'm ash. But yeah, got you a little steering wheel cover right here if you want that. The rear deck. Everything up there, nothing missing. Now the headliner is missing. You had to get you a headliner board and then get your headline. But as you can see right here, I got brand new carpet. I got brown carpet, brown carpet like that. You don't want to put this back in there cause it's stained easily. You can see how it's hard to clean. So I cleaned it the best I could. And I got the, I cleaned the doors. I cleaned that. So I did the best I could, you know, the pillows, Man, plush, man. Grandmama couch. Maybe soft. So, there you go with that. Ain't really much going on in the back. Hop to the front real quick. I did shampoo all of this, so it is. I don't know what it looked like on camera, really, but when you look at it in person, it's pretty clean. 
Uh, like I said, the carpet, don't worry about it because it's already got a replacement. Or if you want to trade that one for some another one, you can do that. But this right here, it go on that door over there. So I took it off when I was working on the window. This car is a Broham, so it has all the electric windows, electric locks, electric seats and everything. Got your sun visors right here. Both sun visors here, they need to be rewrapped. They need to be rewrapped, but at least you have them to get wrapped and you don't have to buy brand new ones. Don't worry about this little cup holder, but we got both of the things that go in the door over there, like I said. So both of these go in. So we got all the pieces. This for the trunk right here. You know this raise, it raise up. So you can stick the key in and open the trunk. So I got all that stuff. I got some bolts and screws. I'll probably put those in little baggies so you can take it. It's already, it already has a radio deck in it for a single den. So if you wanted to do a double den, you gotta do some type of conversion. They sell these, but it's like $350. So I looked it up. So you don't want to do that. That's about 350, 350. If you want to do a double den, but if you want to do a flip out, you can just, you can put it in here in a single den. It'll flip out, it'll cover up this right here. AC and heat don't work because you got to put the heater core in. Once you put the heater core in, the heater will work at least. So with the AC, it needs some work. It need a compressor and it needs to be charged and everything, but everything else there, I'll show you under the hood. But yeah, let's hop over here. So all the gauges work. This gauge don't work. You don't have to worry about that. It's the fuel economy. Who's doing that in the box Chevy. You know, these normally missing. I got a brand new one of these. Got a brand new dash cover. Underneath, the regular dash underneath, you can pull that up. You can see the regular dash right there, what color it is. You can always paint this or have it painted. But yeah, so for the gauges, speedometer work, gas gauge work. So you're gonna simulate, act like the half is gonna be full pretty much. And then E is E, but it, it don't go all the way to the full. It just go to half and then it go back to E, half and back to E. You know, at least you have somewhat of an idea when to fill it up. You can see how many miles on it. You can determine if it's gonna be 46,000 or 146,000. I will go with 146,000. The temp gauge do not work, but no need to fear. Temp gauge right here. <laughs> we got that temp gauge right there. Oil pressure gauge. The car do have oil pressure, but it is, uh, it has a knock, so I'll start it up. Well, I'm gonna try to start it up and let y'all hear it because it's, it's pretty loud and annoying. But nothing in the glove compartment really. Just got the three year warranty to the transmission, 700 R4. There's a 700 R4 in here. Just got fully rebuilt. I got all the paperwork and everything. That was a $3,000, that was a $3,000 uh, rebuild. So I'm really just trying to get my money back for the transmission. So don't come lowballing, you know, you know how people lowball. I'm pretty sure if you're trying to sell something, everybody without money gonna hit you up. So they just want to talk for some reason. I don't know why they want to talk to me. I don't know why they want to talk to me. But yeah, let's move it along and go to the driver's side. I don't know why I was showing y'all over there. But yeah, so here we got the two 35s. Two 35s in the front. So it's, the wheels are staggered. 275s in the back, two 35s in the front. The front wheels are skinnier than the back wheels, like the actual rim. So just be aware of that. Bro, this thing clean. Look, man, straight down the side. Need a little bit of body work. But nothing too crazy. See down the side, you can pause that. See the hood, pretty flush. It do pop up right here a little bit, but they just need to align the hood, man. So that's simple. Nothing really, nothing chipped off. Everything's there. You just need some body work. I painted the grill black. It just need to be washed up a little bit. I changed the headlights back to the factory headlights. So I know a lot of people are saying I got the LEDs, do I got the factories? They'll go to factories right there. Everything here though. You see that dash? It look good from here. So we got the dash. Windows tenant. You can take that off easily if you really wanted to. Hop on this side. This door a little dirtier than the rest, cause guess what? Somebody was driving it. So that's why that's there. This thing do have an alarm on it. It already got a Viper alarm on it. I'll show y'all what it sound like. Viper alarm. You hear the locks? Come on, dog. 
there we go so the locks work uh it does have pop trunk so the trunk works you can pop the trunk from here but the, the key got to be on so do it like that boom you hear the trunk pop so that work it also has the electric fuel pump has the electric fuel pump I'm trying to make sure i hit everything i keep this on here even though it's not running somebody could still steal it so we don't want nobody trying to put it on the trailer and take it home with them without paying for it they're gonna pay for this they're gonna pay for this box shit. <laughs> yeah let me uh let me see what we got i can't really show underneath because i ain't trying to get on the ground like that but i can promise you it's pretty clean underneath see down here you got a little bit of surface rest starting just need body work like i said nothing crazy all the stickers still there the factory sticker and everything i just popped the hood so let's go around to the front pop this hood all right cool so underneath it's a 350 vortex 350 vortex 700 r4 transmission the rear end is a 7.5 not an 8.5 i believe but you can check that bill sheet. Check the bill sheet that was in the trunk. Go back to that uh, clip. You can screenshot it and you can research that. But all the AC components here for the most part, except for the compressor, you got the lines. I got a brand new condenser up here. See that black condenser up there? The radiator, it came in there. New electric fans on there. High output alternator. I'll take this off if you don't want it. I'll put that on a 442. That's why I'm selling it. Brand new carburetor, brand new Elderbrock carburetor. See, got the fuel lines, got a uh, pressure, got a pressure gauge right here. That's your fuel pressure regulator. You got headers on it. The headers are hooker headers. It has hooker headers. I put brand new valve cover um, gaskets. You got an intake and everything. It's a Summit Racing intake. Got a brand new distributor. Brand new plugs and wires and everything. What else? You see the, it got a good battery on it. This battery actually came on my cutlass I swapped over. So the optimal battery is no longer in there, but it got brand new terminals and everything. It got an upgrade on the alternator for the wire. So brand new uh, eight, four gauge, sorry, four gauge wire. So that way it charged the battery better from the alternator. But you can see it's a little monstrosity right there. Got to get rid of that, that uh, those cords. Other than that, we're pretty good. Also with the engine, I replaced the timing chain. I replaced the harmonic balancer. All the hoses and all the um, belts are brand new. Everything good. Everything good under here, except that knock from the bottom end. It has a brand new starter. You can see the, the blanket, the heat blanket down there, that silver thing. That's the starter down there to protect it from the headers from getting too hot. So I, I really took my time with it. It's, it's going to, like, hopefully it goes to a good home and somebody can get it that really, uh, you know, want to put their time into it. But I really ain't got time to put into it or the money because I got a couple more projects. You know, I got the 442 and I got my truck. So I ain't got money like that, as Lucky Wheels and Deals would say. Brand new windshield. You know, normally the windshields on these crack. So it's a brand new windshield on there. The mirror is hung up. You can go back and record. I mean, go back and uh, take a picture of it, but you can see the mount right there. So brand new windshield. Other than that, that's pretty much it, man. Well, let me try to crank it up for y'all. I'll try to crank it up. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, two packs of the gas and we're gonna crank it. Two packs right there. Got electric fuel pump. You can hear the electric fuel pump coming on. They do have a, so for the fans, it's a switch right there, that black switch. You turn it on, it turn the fans on. It can be turned on when the car on and off. Here, it crank right up. But you can hear that knock. It gotta warm up, but you see it crank right up. I don't wanna run it. Unless I want to put it in a garage or something. But yeah, that's pretty much it, man. If you got any questions, let me know. I'm selling it right now. I had it posted for 4500 So if anybody want to come grab it, I'm in San Diego. Hey, bring your trailer. You can take it away, man. It's 
a, it's a steel for what it is, how clean it is. You know, most of them gonna have rust on it. Most of them have body damage. Most of them missing components. This one complete. It's pretty clean for uh, what year it is. And you know, the 86s, they come with the Euro clip, but it come with the four, four headlights or whatever. But you know, normally that, that front clip up there is messed up, it's bent all up. This one's straight, straight, in his, uh, straight as an arrow, so. Hey man, come get it. Well, yeah, you know that grind ain't stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to get that bell to ring, man, and hey man. Don't forget to like that video. Yes, sir, holla at y'all on the next one.